Hi, you're watching Rachel Meets, where every week here I will meet a local hero and an up-and-coming musician and talk to them just about what's going on. Maybe they're doing something new in the community or they have a new release coming out or anything at all. So we'll just meet them here and get the scoop. Uh, you can follow it on Cablecom Channel 9 and on the Outtake Community Media YouTube channel. Later on in the show, I will be talking to Liam and Fiona Fenlon about the 15th Pat the Baker Longford Marathon, which is happening this Sunday here in Longford. But first up, I am going to talk to local musician Sean Rooney. Hello. Hello. How are you? Pretty good, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the first ever Rachel Meets. Thank you. It's very nice to be here. You're the first person I have ever met <laughs> in this show. Um, so it's great to have you here. I know we met recently uh, on another show and you played the... Longford Jam, which was the first acoustic performance night here in Longford, so lots of firsts. Yeah. And loads of stuff happening for you as well. Yeah, well, it's it's not too bad. Yeah, just trying to trying to play as much original music as possible and and you know get my name out there. Really, that's the that's the plan at the minute. And you are branch now outside of Longford. You did the Liquor Rooms in Dublin, which was a headline show. That was pretty huge. That was cool. Yeah, and it's actually it's a really nice spot. It's um it's kind of got this old sort of 1930s speakeasy vibe. You know, uh, so it's it's a really kind of quaint little place, and you almost wouldn't know it was there if you didn't know about it. You know, there's yeah. no sign up outside or anything, but um, it's very cool. And that was a that was a great gig, just me and me and my guitar, and uh, yeah, it was good fun. Cool, yeah, because it is hidden. It's on the keys, but it's like down. Came yeah, you like go down the stairs, yeah. and yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. Cool. And did you get a good reception? I know, like anyone who comes to see you here. It's different playing outside of your home crowd. Sure, yeah, yeah. I mean, you always get the, the sort of the, the regulars that come to see you when you're playing locally, but um, when you're playing somewhere like Dublin, it's kind of, you don't know what to expect, really. You know, I certainly didn't know what to expect. So I, got, I was pleasantly surprised at the, at the reaction to, to the tunes, and um, it, was just, it was just a good buzz, you know. It was good fun, yeah. Because then nice. you had, uh, wasn't it last week, the chandelier sessions in Swords? That's right, yeah. And that's more of a singer-songwriter, like a, like a showcase, so there'd be a couple of people playing? Yeah, there were, I think there were uh, four, no, let me think. F yeah, four or five people playing that night. Um, I actually finished up that, that night as well. Uh, but it was very cool because it was done completely unplugged. Sort of like the Longford Jam, actually, yeah. and it was great because the whole bar just stopped talking and, and were listening intently to what you were playing and singing about. So um, that's actually my favourite environment to play in because it's sort of, you know, you've got a dedicated listenership there um, who can kind of really delve into what you're trying to say in your, in your songs. Um, so that means a lot to me when I get to perform in an environment like that. That was a lot of fun as well. Because I was going to say... The intensity of it is it a bit off-putting, but you actually enjoy that more. I do enjoy it a lot. Now it, there is, it is, there, it, you know, you do get pretty nervous um, because there is that moment of sort of that nasty adrenaline rush where your hands start shaking and you know oh, all that stuff. But, yeah, me. yeah. <laughs> but um, it's a little nerve-wracking at first. But once you get you know a few bars into the first tune, you kind of relax a little bit and and uh, you can just enjoy it. You know, so that was that was a lot of fun. On the flip side of that, then the Marquis and Drumlish, which is. I suppose the local electric picnic. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. got pulled up on stage with Cronin. On yeah, the they, yeah, that was a great crack actually. They, uh, I was just there for the night enjoying the music. You know, um, the stunning were playing and, and a couple other acts and uh, and Cronin, who I absolutely love. They're always great, always a great band and great crack. But they uh, they started playing one of my favourite tunes, which is a town called Malice by the Jam. And I'm just standing in the crowd, in the middle of the crowd, just like, you know, grooving on it. And then Johnny Ronan is roaring my name, like, where are you? Get up here. <laughs> so I was delighted to get up and, and, uh, and sing a couple of verses of that, you know, it was a good crowd. what was the crowd like there? It must have been massive. It was good. There was a good crowd, yeah. It was pretty full. So that was, uh, it was, it was great. You know, they were really, they were really hopping. It was a good crack. And you didn't have time to get nervous because... No, I was just <laughs> beeline straight for the stage, like, you know. Yeah, it was great. Really good. Um, and I know you're just uh, releasing music up on Facebook at the minute. Any plans for more recording the release? I'm still, uh, I'm still doing the the sort of video thing, the live videos. You know, um, I find that that is the best way of kind of reaching people. You know, I think that's that's kind of they react very well to it, and and uh, or people react very well to it. 
So I think that's what I'm going to keep doing for a little while. Um, and obviously I'll be playing more, more gigs as well, um, which I'm working on. I've got a couple coming up locally, which you know all about. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's, that's kind of what I'm working on and, and mostly original stuff. I might throw a couple of covers up soon as well, which is something I've kind of refrained from doing until, until now, just because I'm, you know, I'm just kind of trying to focus on original material. So, um, but I think there, there should be one or two going up fairly soon, yeah. Great. And how do you have, what, like, is it five up already? How many have I got? I don't know. <laughs> how many have I got up there? Never uh, say all bones. Perfect strangers. Yeah. Um, there's a teaser for Edith, which is one of the tracks I have full, okay. fully produced. Um, that's four. I'm pretty sure that among the stars, that's five. Uh, is there another one? There's a whole EP up there. <laughs> there is a whole EP up there. Yeah, yeah. But only some of it's recorded, okay. you know, fully. So, um, but I'm still working on that, and I'm still writing as well. So that's that's good. And you do have a new song in the making that you won't give us the experience. That I was just song. telling you about, yeah, yeah. Well, I've got, I've, got a, um, I've got two verses and a chorus, but I'm just not, it's not quite Perfect. there enough to, to let it out into the, into the universe yeah. yet. But, um, but soon, soon. And I'll give you the exclusive on that if you like when it's done. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe when you play. So um, the 24th of September is the next, the second in the Longford Jam which you are playing as well. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Cool. I, I see we've got Lazy Revs playing at that. They're, they were the guys who did, uh, um, they do Declan Sessions. Yes. And I did, a, I did a song with Declan Sessions, so that was great crack. And yeah. I'm looking forward to, pl to playing with those guys, because that's, yeah. that's going to be cool. And another musician who played here last year, Barry J. Hughes, who also did Declan Sessions, is going to play that night too. Nice. So it'll be a nice cool. little community atmosphere. That's very cool. Unplugged yeah. and acoustic. And I'm looking forward to that now. That is, that, it's a cool vibe in that little spot. So I'm looking forward to that. And then other gigs you have coming up anywhere anyone can catch I have got, um, there is the Longford Live and Local gig, which is in October in the Backstage Theatre. That's coming up. Um, I can't remember the date now. I'm brutal. Paul it's Gurney won't be happy. It's on the Backstage Theatre uh, website anyway. It should be on, the, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it's, it's up there. Um, and other than that, if people want to, um, check my Facebook page I'm updating that all the time if I get a gig in sort of you know last minute it'll be going up there so if you want to if you want to have a look at that then that's that's where you'll, you'll find out dates and stuff brilliant you know? and then Facebook Twitter anywhere else people can catch you uh, I have an Instagram Facebook Twitter the main was YouTube as well and um, just type in my name and you'll, you'll probably get it you know yeah brilliant well thanks a million for joining us thanks for having me cheers okay next up we're going to have um, just a list of what's on in Longford this weekend and then we will be talking to Liam and Fiona Fenlon about the 15th Pat the Baker Longford Marathon, so stay tuned.
welcome back. And as you just saw there, this Sunday brings the 15th Pat the Baker Longford Marathon to Longford. And I am joined here by Fiona and Liam Fenlon. Welcome. You started running, was it in 1984? 1984. And this <coughs> weekend you will run your 300th marathon. That's correct. <coughs> so what, what got you into running initially? I, I was interested before 1984 in possibly short distance, uh, 5Ks, 10Ks and the like of that. And I suddenly built up to a marathon and got interested and tried marathons in different uh, parts of Ireland and abroad, America, all over Europe. So you just kept running. Kept running. <laughs> <laughs> and did, it, did it ever at any stage you just think, oh, I'm not going to do this anymore? Well, obviously you didn't, but you know, there must be a, a turning point that makes you keep going. Yeah, well, the friends you meet, I think, is the biggest thing because you meet basically the same people at a lot of different marathons. And we have a lot in common. They ring you and tell you about the next marathon, where it's going to be, and are you interested in doing that? And then we'd meet up and go on a abroad to a marathon and different people go to different marathons. So you just make friends through it as well as everything else. What would be the most standout moment from all the years of maybe a particular friend that you met? Uh, one man in particular, uh, John Dawson from England. We met him in Rome and there was nobody speaking English and he was the only <laughs> person that I heard speaking English. So we latched on to him and we became great friends. And John comes and stays with us and we stay with him. And we have driven to marathons all over the UK from Birmingham, where he lives, and his wife is a chef and cooks lovely food when we finish and all that kind of thing. Amazing. And where was your first ever marathon? In Galway. Because I know your first 100 and second 100 was in Longford and now your third 100 is in Longford. That's is it important to you that that milestone is here? Well, I wouldn't have done me 100 anywhere else when we got organised for Longford. It was Father McGovern's idea to have a marathon in our hometown and uh, we decided, right, we'd continue on from there and if we got to 200, well and good. I never had planned to get to 200. <laughs> it just happened. And now the 300. 400 then is the next no, one. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> well, I read, I read recently that uh, you said that at your 200 that you wouldn't go to 300, so never say never. I actually said at my 100 to Kieran Belouli, I was being interviewed, and I said never 200, but here we are. That's the way it works. Well, congratulations, and it is a big milestone for along for this weekend. It's the 15th anniversary of the Path to Baker Marathon. So, Fiona. Do you want to tell us maybe a bit of the history of the marathon and how you've gotten to this stage? Yeah, I suppose um, we've come a long way in the last 15 years. Uh, the first year, I believe we just over 200 runners, maybe 250. And um, it's grown and grown and grown. And the big thing, I suppose, we've um, gained a lot of overseas visitors. And that's huge. Um, apart from like people all over Ireland and loads of locals as well. But we actually had an entry today from Israel, would you wow. believe, Rachel? So that's a first. And a few interesting ones. We've got a couple coming all the way from Australia, and that's their second time to come to Longford. They made the trip about, I think it was two years ago. And uh, the lady did the full marathon, and she's coming back to attempt her first ultra marathon in Longford this weekend. 39 miles. Yes. yes. And for those of us who don't have the 39 miles in our legs, there is the Streets of Longford 5K, yes. which is a really exciting and lovely way for people to see the town. Yeah, this is something I suppose um, we've had a lot of feedback from, you know, people who would send us messages in over social media and so on and say, you know, would love to get involved. It's a really good event. There's a great buzz in Longford um, over the weekend, like so many people from all over the world, as I said. So lots of people are interested in running now and there's the park run there every Saturday um, and you, you know, you're driving around, you see people out training and they mightn't just have the time or they mightn't be up to a half marathon distance. So we've just responded to those people and said, right, okay, we'll uh, try the 5k this year on the day. So 
just adds to the event. It makes it more inclusive, you know, which is good. So and it should be good fun. <laughs> there's going to be a whole calendar of events across the weekend, you were telling me. so. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we have registration at the Longford Arms Hotel on Saturday. And for anybody that's watching this lovely interview, uh, they can still enter um, the marathon, half marathon, all of our races, actually. You can still enter up until um, online up until Friday night. And you can come along in person to the Longford Arms Hotel on Saturday and enter any of the races. Um, so that's where we kick off Saturday with number collection and registration. So there'll be a bit of activity around there, a bit of a buzz. Um, and then Saturday evening we have our pasta party. So this is a tradition in marathon running. It's important. You would have been at a lot of pasta parties <laughs> around the world <laughs> for energy. It's quite a big thing in, in London where the swap t-shirts oh. from different countries at the London Marathon and in New York. So you bring T-shirts from Langford and you swap them with somebody That's from New cool, York yeah. or from... Yeah. That was a, a tradition. Cool. So we're having our pasta party on Friday evening, or Saturday evening, excuse me. And um, then on Sunday morning, it's a bright and early start for all of the volunteers and the runners. <laughs> 7 a.m. Wow. in the Langford Arms for registration again. Is a, you know, some people will be travelling on the day to collect their numbers. And I suppose the big thing then on Sunday morning, our um, first race starts at 8.30. And that's the ultra marathon runners. I think we mentioned them earlier on, the guys that are doing the 39 miles. And girls, there's ladies and gents doing that. And we have our marathon walkers as well. They start at 8.30. And then at 10 a.m., all of the other um, races take off. The 5K will be just a few minutes after the, the main race. So it uh, should be great fun and excitement in the town. So it's a full and a half and an ultra and a five. Okay. Yeah, That's and a really. relay. And, and a relay, relay. Yes. yeah, which is good fun, actually. Cool. Yeah, the relay is great. That's where you get four people. And it's a village to village relay. So it starts in Longford and then it goes to Tarman Barry. And the second leg then will be Tarman to Ruski and then Ruski to Newtown Forbes. And you turn fours back to Longford, which is known as the Dory Legs. That's the short one. <laughs> and four so, or just yeah. over four miles. Yeah. We have actually, there's a few teams, I have to mention them. There's a, a group from Dublin and they came down for the past three years. And every year they come with another couple of teams. So there's about, I'd say, 16 or 20 of them in total. They all take the Monday off. They come to Longford, they have an absolute ball. They go out for dinner and they go to out to the pubs and the whole lot and do the relay race and they're great fun. That's um, amazing. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. They love Longford, absolutely love Longford. So how could you not? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> well look, exactly. we're really looking forward to, uh, I'll be there bright and early on Sunday, so Brilliant. looking forward to soaking it all up and cheering you on Liam as you cross the finish line. Thank so. you very much. And thanks a million for joining me. Thank you Thank Rachel, you. thanks for having us. Um, so that was it for tonight's show. Thanks a million at home for watching. Do tune in next week where we'll have more surprise guests. Uh, you can tune in on Cablecom Channel 9 on Outtake Community Media YouTube. And if you want to get in touch with the show, maybe you are a musician who wants to get your songs heard or you have an event coming up in Longford, you can contact me on www.ratewritesstuff.com. And also don't forget, by the end of the week, longfordmarathon.com, you can sign up. Um, it's going to be a great event for all. So Sean Rooney is going to play us out now with an original song from him. Thanks very much. You're my guiding light, my treasure. And I've been staying up nights thinking about when we were together. And I miss you with a solitary tear Now our revelry is gone And I'm left with the fear I guess what I've been trying to say is Where do I go from here? But I'm trying to let you know I'm trying to let you know if I could take it all back in a moment, I would carbonize. If I could take it all back in a moment, would you realize? Girl, I would take it all back in a moment. I'm trying to make you see that I would 
Trying to make it clear Now your love for me is gone And I can't move on I guess what I'm trying to say is Where do I go from here? But I'm trying to let you know I'm trying to let you know If I could take it all back in a moment, I would carbonize. If I could take it all back in a moment, would you realize? Girl, I would take it all back in a moment. I'm trying to make you see that I would take it all back in a moment. Man, hard. It's hard to say when I've made a mistake Well, I guess that's just man's foolish pride And it's harder still to apologize For all the, all the tears you have cried 